We're going to walk through an exercise on how to solve uh, differential equations with Excel, with MATLAB, Python, and Simulink. So we're going to use the same example, just a very simple uh, you know, force balance on an automobile, um, derive a linear uh, system, and then uh, solve it um, both in the time uh, form but also in the Laplace form as well. Okay, so we have a dynamic model. Um, this is our uh, desired velocity, there's our mass, um, there's a resistive coefficient, a gain, and then a gas pedal position as well. We'll do a force balance and then uh, derive a linear first order model. So this is the uh, model that we're going to solve. Okay, so first of all, um, we can also uh, you know, pose it in the AP monitor modeling language. Um, uh, you know, this is just the differential equation that uh, we just described. Okay, that's just in the code form. Um, let's go to uh, the website for the course. This is the dynamic optimization course. And uh, if you go to um, apmonitor.com slash do, dynamic optimization, you'll find the dynamic optimization course. And what we're going to cover here is just this modeling. Let me go back here, um, zoom in on it. So the modeling, there's introduction section. And if you scroll down, you can see the files for this exercise. So it talks about analytic solutions and then uh, numerical solutions. So here's um, right here, simulate vehicle velocity. And so we'll run through these examples in, uh, so let me just go ahead and put that on the desktop. And okay, so that's on my desktop now. We'll go ahead and extract it. So first of all, you need to extract it. Um, or else some of these won't run. Um, but let's just go ahead and do Excel first. Okay, so there's a couple different options here, a couple different files. Um, and uh, actually that was not it. Okay, here's simulate, not the Ferrari.csv, but simulate.xlsx. Okay, so I have uh, my dynamic equations programmed in here. This was, um, okay. So I had a, a solution, uh, analytic solution, to uh, the differential equation. And then I just programmed it here into uh, the Excel field. OK. And uh, there, is, there is my dynamic uh, equation that depends on the prior uh, model value, the, uh, the input, or the U value in column F, but then also the time difference and the gain and the time constant. So if I go in here and change, um, this is just a change in the gas pedal. So let's say I stepped it down by uh, 10%. Then you can see that um, it stepped down from 40 to 30 and then changed uh, the profile. So let me go ahead and just start with all zeros here. Okay, so um, and then at one second, I'm going to increase the gas pedal by uh, 20%. And then you can see the velocity respond of the vehicle. So let's say at two seconds, I want to increase by another 20%. Um, then you can see that it's going to uh, accelerate further. And uh, if I go up by, let's say, 60, um, that's 100%. So I have the gas pedal all the way down. Then you can see uh, the response here. OK, so that's um, in Excel. Um, so let's go back and uh, let's look now at uh, MATLAB. Okay, so I'm going to open up um, MATLAB. Go ahead and just double click this if you have MATLAB installed. Uh, you can also look at it through a text editor if you don't have uh, MATLAB installed. Um, but what we're going to do is, is open up this file um, and this will show us that uh, we're going, and I'll just step through this in, uh, in debug mode just so we can see um, each uh, each step of the MATLAB code. Um, but one other thing we need to look at as well is our model file. Now this is in uh, AP Monitor modeling language where we have uh, certain parameters. Those are just parameters from our, our model. Um, and then we have variables and then an equation as well. Now one thing to note about this equation is there's a dvdt. Um, and that describes our differential equation. Okay, I also put some constraints here. Uh, my gas pedal isn't just initially zero, but I say that it has to be greater than or equal to zero, 
and less than or equal to 100. Also on this variable, the velocity, that's just the initial condition for my simulation. Okay, so um, that is the uh, model. And then what we're going to do is we're going to solve this with, um, okay, so let me open up the, uh, the script. And I'll go ahead and put a uh, breakpoint in here. Okay, just, let's see, cannot shadows it. Oh, simulate.slx. Okay, let me change the name of that. Um, okay, I'll just call this uh, simulate1.m uh, and open it up again. Okay, didn't like that the slx or the simulate file was also named that. Okay, so I'll add a uh, breakpoint here. Uh, it just puts a little red dot. And then when I run it, um, what it's going to do is just put a green arrow there, and I can step through this. Um, okay, so now it's going to load my model file, Ferrari, and my data file, Ferrari.csv. Um, so Ferrari.apm is my model file, and then Ferrari.csv, that's just a comma-separated value file. Okay, and then if I step one more time, I just did hit continue, um, and uh, there is my uh, figure. Okay, so if I come back to MATLAB, um, let me look at the output Y, and that gives me, um, you know, Y1, um, Y dot names. Um, one is going to give me time, for example, that's a, a structure. But if I look at Y dot number of variables, that's going to be. Uh, 6, but if I look at y.x, if I type that in y.x, I see I have uh, time, m, b, k, p, and v. Okay, so y.x.v, that's my velocity profile, and I'm just going to plot that um, against my time. Okay, and so uh, what I had done is just put z equals y.x just to shorten that, and then I can do z dot uh, time and z dot v. So um, that created my um, plot that I uh, that I showed just by putting this on the first subplot and then on a second subplot. Okay, so that's um, that is how to simulate in MATLAB. And uh, let me come to Python as well. Okay, so I'm going to open um, with IDLE. Okay, so this is um, Python, and I'm going to first of all import my APM uh, library. If you don't have that, you can come to um, the apmonitor.com website and just go to the uh, APM Python interface, and you can download that um, right here as a zip file. So you just need the apm.py file for this one. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and solve it. Um, 7 just means dynamic uh, simulation. There's different modes of operation. And then this is just to plot um, the results. OK, so let me go ahead and just run that. Um, I can hit F5, or I can uh, select that from the menu. And then when it runs, it will show my gas pedal versus my velocity. OK, so let's do just a final one here. Um, simulate dot slx okay let me see if I can okay so I have um, this with a couple different representations of my okay so let me make that just a little larger and a couple representations of the same model okay so um, this is my gain and time constant I'm just gonna go back to MATLAB for a second and and just show this in uh, MATLAB. Okay, so if I have, um, I to find S as a new transfer function. That's very small. Um, okay, but there is a continuous time transfer function, and then this is going to be a one divided by ten times S plus one. That's in the Laplace domain. But there's a continuous time uh, transfer function. And if I just hit, uh, if I do step of that uh, transfer function, then uh, that's going to bring up a plot. 
it's going to show um, this dynamic system, or at least a step input to that dynamic system. Okay, and then if I want to convert it to discrete form, then I just use C2D, continuous to discrete, of G, and then I'm going to select a sample time. Um, I'll put one second. Okay, so there's a, um, a transfer function, and that transfer function went right here. Okay, I just uh, did this in the Z domain or the discrete domain, and that will give me the same uh, answer. I can also convert this to a state space form, um, and there are my A, B, C, and D matrices that I just put into this uh, state space model. Okay, continuous time state space model. The other thing I did is I put this in as um, an AP monitor modeling language, um, and I called this uh, Ferrari. Okay, so that's my MATLAB function, and uh, this one's just a little bit more complicated to implement, but um, you get the same results from and all four of these. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and simulate, and uh, let's just compare. Um, I'll go ahead and first of all do the continuous velocity. Okay, so that shows a um, a step. Okay, so you can see the uh, gas pedal stepped up to a hundred, and then you can see the response of the. Um, let me go ahead and rescale this. Okay, so you can see the response of the velocity. Okay, so let's look at the discrete velocity. We had one second uh, sampling times. Um, and there you can see the continuous response. And then um, at every step, the discrete and the continuous are equal. It only updates every uh, second. Okay, let's look at the state space. Um, that's going to be equivalent to the continuous time. And then if we look at the um, AP monitor, uh, that is going to be equivalent to the discrete uh, time simulation. Okay, so that's um, okay, so that's it with the uh, the simulation. Again, a couple different files here uh, in Excel, um, in MATLAB, um, in let's see, the MATLAB one was here, Python here, and then Simulink uh, right here.